total. Uh, I only got to essentially work, back engineer, or analyze one of the craft. It's very plain. It's all one solid color, uh, a, a grayish pewter color, the same color as the outside of the craft. Yeah, there are no sharp corners anywhere. Every device in the craft, the seat, uh, the amplifier housings, everything has a rounded corner on it, almost as if it was all fashioned out of wax and then slightly melted so everything curved, even where the ceiling meets the floor on the end. Everything has a, a curve to it. Um, very, very plain, very wide open, uh, very impractical use of space. And there are three levels. The lower level um, houses the amplifiers themselves that swing, the three of them. The center level is where you enter the craft, where the seats and the amplifiers are. And the uh, top level is a small area, and I did not have access to that, so I don't know what's up there. Absolutely alien craft. There's no question about it. Well, first of all, the scope of the project was to back engineer it. If they were United States craft, we wouldn't be going backward trying to find out how they were built if we had built them. Uh, second of all, the size of uh, the equipment inside, the size of the seats, the uh, materials that were in use, completely alien to us, pardon the pun, and uh, you know the fuel, element 115, essentially non-existent. Uh, all these factors together, uh, and of course the briefing information stating that they were alien craft.